is our last stand. This is where we burn the die. Hey guys, without wasting any time, we're starting the video with Delta Force, a first-person tactical shooter game that's about to be released, promising to bring a new experience for fans of the classic series that defined the genre for over 25 years. With varied game modes and large-scale battles, multiplayer will be one of the highlights of the game. The game will feature a progression system that will allow players to unlock new weapons, equipment, and customizations. If you're looking for a first-person shooter with lots of action and adrenaline, Delta Force might be a good option for you. The next game on the list is Alien Rogue Incursion, a new virtual reality horror game that's part of the famous Alien franchise. Developed by Servios, known for other VR titles like Creed, Rise to Glory, and The Walking Dead Onslaught, the game promises an immersive and terrifying experience for fans of the series. Alien Rogue Incursion is a first-person action horror game that seeks to capture the tension and horror characteristic of the Alien franchise, similar to what was seen in Alien Isolation. Players will be able to explore dark environments and face the typical challenges of the Alien universe, immersing themselves in a narrative that promises to be intense and engaging. Even after those things, not once did I bow my head. By the time you hear this, I will have carved my name on the surface of this planet with a smoking crater. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever gone. Bridge Constructor Studio is a new title in the popular Bridge Constructor game series, which stands out for allowing players to build bridges and structures to help vehicles cross obstacles like rivers and cliffs. This game is a continuation of the simulation and puzzle tradition that characterizes the franchise. Players will have the freedom to design and build their own bridges, using a variety of materials and engineering techniques. The goal is to ensure that the structures can withstand the weight of the vehicles that will pass through them. You'll have it your way. Skydance's Behemoth is a virtual reality action RPG that promises to offer an epic combat and exploration experience. The game takes place in the Forsaken Lands, a kingdom devastated and cursed by tragedies. The player takes on the role of Ren the Hunter, an outcast warrior who embarks on a dangerous mission to save his village. Ren's main task is to face and defeat the Behemoths, monstrous creatures that pose a significant threat. Skydance's Behemoth stands out for its immersive and physics-based combat system. The game uses virtual physicality, allowing players to feel the weight of their weapons and the impact of their blows. No mercy, Ren. I won't let the curse take my people. I'll fight. No matter what it takes. Marvel Rivals is a third-person shooter that pits players in teams of six against six. Players can choose from a variety of Marvel heroes and villains, including the Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the X-Men, and many others. Marvel Rivals features fast-paced and frenetic gameplay, with destructible maps that allow players to use the environment to their advantage. Players can use their powers to create cover, bring down structures, or even use the environment as weapons.
Clone Drone in the Hyperdome is a new virtual reality game that combines sword combat with roguelike elements, developed by Doberog. In the game, players find themselves in a deadly tournament known as Crash Loop, where they must fight against killer robots in sword battles. The core mechanic involves cutting robots to pieces, using a virtual sword that allows for physical and visceral interaction with the environment. Players can also use shurikens, which are fired from their wrists. Are you ready to sacrifice? Sacrifice everything to become the savior. Path of Exile 2 is the highly anticipated sequel to the popular free-to-play action RPG Path of Exile, developed by Grinding Gear Games. The game takes place years after the events of the original title and promises to expand the dark universe of Rayclast, where players will fight against the growing corruption that threatens the world. Contrary to what was initially thought, Path of Exile 2 is not just an expansion, but a completely independent game, with new mechanics and features that further differentiate the gaming experience. Infinity Nikki is a game that promises to take players to a charming and stylish universe. Developed by Infold Games, this title combines elements of RPG, fashion, and exploration in an open world. The story of Infinity Nikki revolves around Nikki and her companion, Momo, who embark on a new adventure through the fantastic nations of Milagros. Each nation has its own unique culture and environment, waiting to be explored. Nikki has the ability to use the power of charm hidden in clothes to overcome challenges. You can collect outfits of various styles, some with magical abilities that allow Nikki to float or shrink, essential for exploration. Legacy of Cain. Soul Reaver 1 Plus 2 Remastered is a remaster of the classic action-adventure games in the Legacy of Cain series, which stood out for their engaging narrative and innovative gameplay for their time. The remaster promises to bring graphical and gameplay improvements, allowing both new players and fans of the original series to enjoy the experience. The remaster includes additional content, such as concept art, soundtracks, and interviews with the original developers. Aspir responsible for the remaster, promises to improve gameplay, making it more fluid and adapting it to modern standards. The future has always been written. Don't fight it, Raziel. To end the video, I bring you Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, a first-person action-adventure game that puts you in the role of the iconic archaeologist Indiana Jones. Developed by Machine Games, the studio behind the Wolfenstein series, and executive produced by renowned game designer Todd Howard, the game promises a cinematic experience that captures the essence of the Indiana Jones franchise. The game promises a mix of linear gameplay and narrative, with open-world maps to explore. You'll be able to use Indiana Jones's iconic whip to dodge, disarm, and attack enemies, as well as use it to navigate the environment, swinging and climbing walls. Well, that was the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Who are you to tell me how to live life? In these times, it feels like nobody's right. Yeah, so I'ma figure out what else we succeed, and then invest all of my time into.